Hi, and welcome to another Old School Blues Song Breakdown. This is for the months of January and February 2016. And this time we're going to do a song called Cotton Crop Blues by James Cotton. This is from the early 50s on Sun Records, and on guitar was the legendary Pat Hare. And I had a request for this tune to be broken down by one of my subscribers, so here it is. This is kind of a, a long tune, and so what I'm going to do is... Uh, break down parts of it note for note exactly and show you here in the lesson and then other parts I'm just going to kind of teach you the ideas behind what he plays and leave it up to you to use the tab and if you want to figure out this stuff out note for note and this song is in the key of D and almost all the notes and, and chords and things that Pat Hare plays in this tune as he plays behind the singing of James Cotton are going to be based on the first position blues box in D so the song is in D and if you find the first position blues box with the first position bar chord, you'll be down here or up here between the 10th and the 13th frets on the guitar. And that's where almost everything is going to be played. I'm going to start out and show you the introduction to the song. We'll do that note for note. I'll show you the first verse. We'll work through that, some of the ideas. We'll do the second verse, the solo, which we'll do note for note. The verses, I think what I'm going to do is just kind of show you some of the different ideas and what's going on and leave it up to you. And then the end tag, we'll work on that. That's pretty easy. I'll teach that to you note for note. So let's start out with the introduction to Cotton Crop Blues. It goes something like this. close. So the first thing he plays is a diminished chord. This is a signature Pat Hare lick. He, he uses this all the time in most of his tunes. And it's a really nasty sounding chord lick. And it's really a diminished chord. So if you're not familiar with diminished chords, first finger is going to be on the 12th fret of the 4th string, second finger on the 12th fret of the 2nd string, ring finger on the 13th fret of the 3rd string, pinky on the 13th fret of the 1st string. And you should have this. It's a D diminished. And what he does to open up the song is he picks this chord three times. And as he picks it, he's just, I think it's, it's all downstroke. He's bending up with all four of his fingers on the chord. And then he's going to go to these two single string notes. 10th fret of the 1st string, 10th fret of the 2nd string. So the whole 1st lick. That's the 1st part. So it's 1, 2, 3. Or 1, 2, 3. There it is. And he does this little lick. He's bending on the tw third string at the 12th fret. He's using three fingers from the 10th to the 12th fret. Then he's going to get 12th fret of the 4th string and end up on the 10th fret of the 3rd string. So the whole first part of the introduction. One more time. It sounds like he might throw an A seventh chord in here. I can't tell if he's playing that or not. It's kind of hard to hear, but it sounds like there's a little bass lead in, which would be the twelfth fret of the fifth string. This is an A seventh chord. I think a C seventh. That shape and just move it all the way up here to the to the tenth to twelfth frets, and you could use that chord in there if you're not playing with the piano or if you want to. You know, imitate what they're doing there. There's horns, there's piano, there's other stuff in there. It's hard to hear if he's playing that chord. He might just be very lightly playing it like that. So the whole first part of the introduction. And then he goes into this lick. So this part, that is a typical... Pat Hare lick, where he 
goes into the lick, really playing over the four chord, which is a G. That shape, that A shape. And you'll hear him in a lot of his tunes when he's playing the fills and even during the solos, start off a lick like this. And what he's doing is just playing over that four chord. Which is a G. So he's starting on the 10th fret of the 2nd string to the 12th fret, like a hammer on, to the 12th, 10th fret of the 1st string, and then to the 13th fret of the 1st string. And then just briefly, he just picks the 10th fret of the 1st string, and then right into these bends on the 2nd string. And he's just doing the same bend shape with four fingers on the second string from the 10th to the 13th frets. My pinky's on the 13th fret. That kind of bend. So the whole second part of the solo, or the intro, goes like this. Something like that. Part, he's going to bend on the third string. Then come back to the tenth fret of the third string and wind up on the twelfth fret of the fourth string. So that whole first part of the, of the intro. That's what I'm hearing. And then he does this. This is a typical kind of electric blues lick. I can't. I don't think he's using the bend. I think he's just picking it. So he's starting from the 10th fret of the 3rd string to the 11th fret. Then he's going to get the 10th fret of the 2nd string, 10th fret of the 1st string. 13th fret of the 2nd string, 10th fret. That's a real common lick. You hear a lot of guys use this in different ways. Something like that. So it winds up on the 12th fret of the 4th string. And then he does this little, little uh, lick into the 5 for the turnaround. I can't tell exactly what he's playing here, but it sounds to me like he's really quickly playing the chromatic run from the 10th to the 11th to the 12th fret of the 5th string to the 10th fret of the 4th string and then winding up on the 5 which is the A 12th fret of the 5th string so something like this and there it sounds again like he's putting the chord in there A 7th chord and then he throws in and right as he gets into the next verse and we'll work on this he throws that little lick in, and I'll, I'll teach that as we get into the first verse. So let's go over the whole introduction to Cotton Crop Blues. I'll play it real slow one time. This, you know, this is an official, I don't claim to be the official tablature writer of this stuff. This is just me trying to figure it out. If you hear something different, let me know. Here we go. So as we got started there, the only chords, we got the diminished chord to kick off the tune, and then this little seventh shapes. That's a C7 shape played as an A7 up here at the, with my ring finger on the A at the 12th fret of the 5th string. So as we play that introduction, you notice all the licks are played right in that first position blues box. And throughout the rest of the song, that's really what he does. Hope you got this, work on this, and in the next part of this lesson, we will move into the verses. And I'm just going to go over some of the big ideas and concepts that you'll find in the three verses where James Cotton sings and then the guitar is playing the fills.